Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. So today I'm back with another video and this time I will be doing a requested video. So I have been wanting to do this video for so long, but I have been looking high and low for the perfect yarn to make this video. However, I got disappointed still. I did not get the one that I wanted, but I did get this uh, Bernard Softy Cotton. Uh, this one is really nice. It is machine washable and also it can be uh, dried in the dryer as well. It's a lightweight size 3 yarn. Uh, so I will be putting all the information about this video into the description box down below. So make sure you check that out before you start this video. I will be listing all the the materials, uh, the everything that I'll be doing in this video, I will be listing it down there. So make sure you check that out. So guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you like what you see, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video. And to my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for being here, guys. I do appreciate it. So let's jump in the video. So guys, to begin, we will start off by making a slip knot. So insert your hook, wrap it around, and pull up a loop. You can make your slip knot however you like. Uh, this is just the way how I make mine. And now I am going to go ahead and I am going to chain uh, 124 because I will be making a uh, 1x size. So if you're making a small, you will chain 94. If you're making medium, you will chain 104. If you're making large, you will chain 114. So I am going to go ahead and make my chains and I'll be back up with you. So now I have come to the end of making my 124 chains. So what we're going to do now is we're going to count 1, 2, 3, and 4. Into that fourth stitch, we will be making a slip stitch. So insert your hook there and pull up a loop. Now that you have your slip stitch there, you're going to go ahead and chain two. One and two. You're going to turn over your work and you are going to look for that middle part there, which is here into that circle. And this chain two counts as our first double crochet. So we'll be making our shell now. So we're going to make uh, two more double crochet. So that's one and two. We're going to chain two, one, two, go back into that same space and we're going to make one, two, and three. And that completes our first shell there. So there it is. Now you are going to go ahead and chain two, one, two. You're going to yarn over, go back into that same space, and you're going to make three double crochet. So now that you make your three double crochet there, this is what your work should look like. You are going to turn your work and you will be doing slip stitches. So we'll be doing a lot of slip stitches uh, to make this um, bra. So insert your hook into that first stitch there and make your first slip stitch. Continue making slip stitch right up along until you get to your chain two space. You will be making one slip stitch in there as well. Now you're going to chain two. Remember, chain two counts as our first double crochet. You're going to yarn over, go back into that same space, and make two double crochet. That's one and two. Now that you have your three there, you're going to chain up two, go back into that same space, and make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three and that completes our next shell there 
Now that you have um, your shell there, you're going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, and four. You're going to yarn over, go into the next shell, and you're going to complete another shell here. So just as we did over on this side, you're going to repeat the same thing here. So that's one, two, three, chain two, one, two, go back into that same space, one, two, and three. And this is what your work should look like so far. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and do my slip stitches and I will meet back up with you once I am in this uh, chain two space here. So now I am back into my chain two space. I'm going to chain up two. And our chain two counts as our first double crochet. That's two and three. Chain two. Go back into that same space. And chain three. And that completes our next shell there. Now you're going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. You're going to go into this space and you're going to make a single crochet. So to make a single crochet, you will insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. Now that you have your single crochet there, you're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go into the next shell, and complete your next shell here. So that's one, two, and three. Chain up two. Go back into the same space and make three more double crochets to complete your shell. And this is what your work should look like so far. Now that we have done that, we're going to turn our work again and we're going to be doing slip stitches right up the side. Now I'm back in my chain two space. I'm going to chain up two and repeat the same thing again. So I'm making my shell, chain two, go back in the same space, and chain three. And sorry, and make three double crochet. Sorry about that. And my shell is now completed. Now I am going to go ahead and chain one, two, three, four. I'm going to go into this chain four space and I'm going to make a single crochet. So remember, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. You're going to chain up four again one, two, three, and four. Go into that space and make your next single crochet. Chain up four, one, two, three, and four. And now you're gonna basically do the same thing as we did over here. You're gonna make your next shell here, and then you're gonna slip stitch up the side, and I will meet you back up once I am in my chain two space. So make your shell, and then slip stitch up the side, and go back to your chain two space and I'll meet you there. So now I am back in my chain two space there and this is what your work should look like. Now I'm gonna chain up two and make my next shell. This pattern is very repetitive uh, so you'll be repeating yourself all over. Now 
now that I complete my shell there, I'm going to chain up four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go into this space here. Chain up four again. One, two, three, four. Go into this next one. Chain up four. One, two, three, four. Go into the next one. Chain up four. And make my shell. So I'm going to continue doing that. Make my slip stitches on the side going up. And then I'll meet back up with you. So this is what your work should look like so far. So now I'm back in my chain 2 space here and I'm going to go ahead and chain up 2. And make my double crochet. So that's three. Now I'm going to chain two and go back into that same space and make your double crochet. Now that you have your double crochet there, that completes our shell. So, um what I am going to do is I'm, not, I'm going to repeat another row of the same thing here because uh, this pattern was originally, well, is originally made for uh, size 4 um, uh, yarn, but because I'm using a size 3, I wanted to make just this base part a little bit longer. So um, if you're using a size 4 yarn, then you don't have to repeat back the same row that I'm doing. Um, I will show you um, what the next row would look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat back the same row that we just did right here. So I'm just going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and make my single crochet there. Go into the next chain four space, make my next single crochet, chain four again. One, two, three, four. Chain up four. And complete that one there and chain up four again. And make your shell. So it's just a little extra row that I put there. But as I stated before, if you're using a size 4 yarn, you don't need to make this extra row that I just did. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my slip stitches here. And this is the row where in which, um, so you chain two and make your shell. So this is the row where in which it's going to be a little bit different uh, from your row. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six shells here. If you have your, if you're using a size four yarn, you will have a total of five here, and then you're going to go into your different row, which is. Um, your sixth row, but I am going to my seventh row now. So I'm just going to make my shell. So go ahead and make yours. Okay. 
and now what we're gonna do now we're gonna skip this chain four here and we're gonna chain five so this is the difference that we'll be doing now two three four and five we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna go over into this one here and we're gonna make a single crochet we're gonna chain up one two three and four and we're gonna go into this one and make our single crochet again chain up one two three four go into the next one and make a single crochet chain up four sorry chain up five so one two three four five we're gonna skip this one and make your shell here so that's the difference with this row so this row would be your row six while this row is my row seven because i am using a size three yarn one two and i'm going to complete my shell so go ahead complete your shell and make your slip stitches along the side and i will meet back with you once i'm in my chain two space here so this is what your work should look like so far so now I am back up to my chain two space here. I'm going to chain two, make my shell. Chain up two and make three more double crochet to complete shell. I'll just do that over. So now my shell is completed, I'm going to go ahead and chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to chain 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if uh, for the for the person that is using a size four yarn uh in this case you will um you will not chain five but technically you will chain four here so because i am not yet um up to the part that i'm supposed to be i am still chaining five for this part but for the person that is using the size four yarn you will chain four here but if you're using the same yarn as I am using, you can chain the same amount that I am chaining. And then chain up five again. And make your shell. So I hope you don't get confused of what I'm saying. I hope I explained that clear enough for you to understand. And this is what your work should look like so far. So we have one space left to back there. So we're moving on to the part where we'll be changing uh, the sizes depending on what size you're making. So the size that I'm making is a D cup. So once I am there, I will show you what to do. So I'm just doing my slip stitches, slip stitches inside here and make my shell. So chain two, go ahead and Make your that's three chain two and three. 
so now I have come to this part here so now it determines uh, what size you're making so as I stated I'm making a size D cup so I will be putting 12 double crochet in this ring here so I will chain four and put 12 double crochet here if you're making an A cup you will put you will chain four and you will put eight double crochet here, chain four and make your next shell here. If you're making a, a, um, a B cup, you will put 10 double crochet here. Or if you're making a B C cup, you will put 12 crochet here, uh, sorry, 12 double crochet here. So the B C and the C D cup uh, is the same amount which is 12 the AB cup is 10 and the AC cup is um, I should say not AC but the A cup will be um, 8 so I will put on the screen uh, that instruction so you will be able to follow so I hope that I actually um, explain that correctly 1 2 3 and 4 now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put 12 double crochet in this space here. So once I am through making my 12 double crochet, I will chain 4 and make my next shell here. So I will meet you back here when I'm done doing that. So this is what your work should look like so far, no matter what size you're making. Now I am going to go ahead and turn my work and make my slip stitches it's one two three and four I'm going to complete my shell here That's three and one and two. And now that I've completed my shell, I'm going to chain four one, two, three, four. You're going to skip this stitch here and you're going to go into the next one. So you're going to yarn over insert your hook there make a double crochet you're going to chain one go into the next stitch make a double crochet you're going to chain one go into the next and you're going to repeat the same thing right across until you get to this stitch here so remember we're not going into this one that is attached to this stitch that is attached to this chain four here once you get to your last stitch you will chain up four and make your next shell, shell here and I'll meet you back there so continue doing that and I'll see you there so this is what your work should look like so far Moving on, we're going to turn and make our slip stitches. Chain up two, make two double crochets one and two chain two and complete your shell and from now on our separation chain will only be three so instead of chaining four you will chain three and you will go ahead and insert your hook here and make one single crochet you're gonna chain up three one two three going to the next space and 
make a single crochet, chain of three, one, two, three, go into the next space, make your single crochet, chain of three, and repeat the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you're going to continue doing that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then chain up your three and make your next shell. So after you make your shell, do your slip stitches on the side and then I'll meet back up with you once you're in your chain two space. So if you see your work look a bit wonky like this, don't worry about it. It will it will just straighten itself back out. So this is what my work looked like so far. We're going to go ahead and chain up two, make your shell, chain two, complete your shell. chain one, two, three. You're going to go into this uh, stitch here. Chain up one, two, three. Go into the next stitch. One, two, three, into the next, I'm saying stitch, sorry about that, but into the chain three space. And chain up three, one, two, three, go into the next chain three space, chain up three, and you're going to continue doing that until you get to this side, and you're just going to turn your work and repeat the same thing all over. And you're going to continue doing that. Make sure that your separation chain from here is always three and you're going to continue making your um, pineapple until you get to your last two loops at the top, your last two um, chain three spaces like this here and I will meet back up with you. So once I am there, I'll show you what to do next. so this is how your work should look like so far and I have my last two stitches remain uh, well not stitches but uh, chain three uh, space here so I'm just gonna turn my work and make my slip stitches Chain two, start making my shell, chain up two, and complete your shell. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You are going to go into this one here, make your single crochet, chain up three, go into the next one, and make your single crochet, chain up three, and three, 
I'm going to go over here and make one, two, three, and you're not going to finish. So to close off, what we're going to do is we are going to um, yarn over, insert your hook into this shell here. Uh, before I yarn over, I am going to just insert my hook into the shell. Then I'm going to yarn over and make that chain one there. And then I'm going to yarn over again and complete my last shell here. Let me just do this over a little bit. It's a little bit slack. Or loose and that completes our work and there it is uh, if you want to do like a steam iron on your um, your um, bra, you can because it looks uh, just a little bit curled there. But you can just use your hands and press down and then you just go back into place. So there it is. It's all done. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm just going to chain one and cut my excess yarn off. get my darning needle and I'm just going to go ahead and weave in my tail and to weave in my tail this is how I'm going to start it I'm just going to go immediately underneath there just to pull that bump down and then I'll just go in between these stitches underneath here and just pull down You can stop there if you like but if you want to weave it in some more just to make sure that it is well secured you can just go ahead and do so and I'm just gonna go back down here and cut my excess off so this is what it looks like and this is my next one here. So you can go ahead and make your next uh, bra uh, to complete them. And um, what you can also do is you can go ahead and chain. So if you are making a size small, you will go ahead and chain 200. If you're doing a medium, chain 250, uh, sorry, 225. If you're doing a size large, you will chain 250. And if you're doing an extra large that I did, uh, you will chain 275. So I went ahead and I made my 275 chains. And I'm just going to show you how I will be weaving in uh, my strop here so I'm just gonna go from this one here and I am gonna count from here one two three four so I am going to start my weave in here
and you can just if your uh, string here get a little bit twisted you can just straighten that up To this one, go back into the next one here. This will be one, one, two, three, and four. And then you just go over on this side and you will basically do the same thing. So I'm going to continue doing my weaving and I'll meet back up with you. So guys, this is the end look of our bikini top. And I went ahead and I put some fringes on. Uh, so this is what they look like. So I will just show you how to attach these if you want to put fringes on them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one of these in and I'm going to get my, where's my needle? Okay, so I'm using my darning needle just to open this part up here. You can make your fringes however long that you want them to be. So I'm just going to open this slip stitch that we had here. Okay. And I did go ahead and I cut some, I, well, I went ahead and I cut some fringes or some strings. So I did like a total of eight. So this is four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I did eight strands here. So just go ahead and make sure that they're it even when you're putting them together and then you'll pinch in the middle part here and bring it down so it looks uh, this needs to be a little bit more even some of them are a little bit longer than some okay and then I'll just use my hook and I'll go ahead and pull that through and pull through with my hook and then I'll use my fingers and we want to get all of these ends inside this loop so we're just pulling that over and pulling through then we're gonna pull down take your time and pull down And then you're going to go ahead and pull on the top string here. And you can pull on these strings individually just to make sure that they're all they're all neat. We tuck down. And after I'm done, I get my needle. This is optional. If you don't want to put fringes on yours, you don't have to. But just to get it, give it an actual cleaner look. You can put the fringes on. So I'm just going to go into the back part here. And I'm going to stick my needle right through. Okay. 
and pull that through. And then I'm just going to tug on that string. to make sure that it is well secured. Okay, and there it is. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my scissors to just tidy up this part here. And there it is. So our fringe is now completed. So, yeah guys so this is what it is uh the bikini top is now completed i hope that you love this tutorial and i hope that it was straightforward and easy to follow so guys i will be moving on to making the bottom part of the bikini i will be however um probably uh making this video into two i'm not sure yet but um i hope that you love this tutorial and uh uh, comment tell me what you think again uh, thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye